When Americans think of the Russian education system, they tend to envision dark, prison-like schools with students force-fed the ideals of socialism. However, this vision of education in Russia couldn't be further from the truth. In modern-day Russia, there is a distinct, decentralized system that allows schools moderate independence in forming their own curriculum. In fact, the Russian education system is somewhat more complex than that of the United States. In Russia, most educational institutes are state-run, but the emergence of private compulsory education institutes has increased in recent years. The Ministry of Education and Science is the only federal body in Russia that is responsible for implementing state policy and legal regulation at all levels of education and in all kinds of institutions. The quality of education is monitored by the Federal Service for Supervision in Education and Science. They are responsible for offering accreditation, the formal recognition of status of an educational establishment of the state, and for licensing educational facilities, staff, and materials. The design of the Russian education system is quite different from the United States. In Russia, there are two types of educational programs, general education and professional education. We will discuss the education system of Russia and its structure later on in this video. Russian education starts compulsory education, which is similar to the United States K-12 system and lasts for nine years of schooling. Compulsory education includes primary and secondary education. About 99.6% of the population is literate, and this figure includes both men and women. The estimated amount of students enrolled in general education for the school year from 2004 to 2005 is 16,631,000. The amount of students in higher education is 6,884,000. The first level of compulsory education is the primary education system. Students start school around 6 or 7 years of age, and 50% also attend preschool a year before they enter the primary education. Nearly all students attend state schools. However, private schools educate about 1% of the population. Students in primary education attend school five days a week from September to June, a very similar schedule to students in the United States. In general, all subjects at the primary education level are taught by one teacher. Subjects taught at these grade levels include Russian language and literature, math, foreign language, science, and social studies. The subjects of art, music, and physical education are also introduced. This curriculum is very similar to the curriculum that current elementary school students in the United States are learning. The second level of compulsory education is secondary education. Secondary education is divided into two cycles, lower and upper. Approximately 90% of primary education students enter the lower secondary curriculum. The lower tier of secondary education is for grades 5 through 9, similar to middle school or junior high system in the United States. Upon six successful completion of exams, students receive the Certificate of Incomplete Secondary Education. The curriculum for these grade levels stresses the humanities as well as builds on the subjects taught in primary education. Students can also choose a few electives they wish to take while in the lower education. With this certificate, students can enter the upper level of secondary education or vocational non-university higher education. The upper secondary education is for students in grades 10 and 11. Students can either take the academic or vocational track. If a student is on the vocational track, they are working towards a certificate of vocational, vocational secondary education. This allows students to continue on the vocational track in higher education. Students on the academic track are offered academically oriented programs. These students hope to receive the certificate of secondary education, which allows them to continue on to higher education. In order to receive this certificate, students take tests in at least five in Russia, the goal of professional education is the continual development of an individual in the process of which he or she acquires a professional qualification and the preparation of graduates to exercise a profession. Professional education consists of vocational education, non-university level higher education, university level higher education, and postgraduate education, including doctoral study programs. Non-university level post-secondary professional education offers programs leading to middle professional qualifications. Individuals desiring to be pre-primary and primary school teachers can attend non-university level educational institutes. Presently, there are about 2,838 state and municipal non-university level institutions. 
College is also considered as a non-university institution that has educational programs that are well coordinated with university level programs in the same field of study. Approximately 680 colleges exist in Russia. Non-university education lasts about two to three years for those who have completed secondary general education and about three to four and a half years for those who have completed basic general education. University level higher education offers programs leading to university degrees. These institutions are defined by their aim in developing education, science, and culture through applied research and training programs. Universities are expected to be leaders in research and methodology. Institutes and academics are also parts of the university system. In 2008, there were about 660 state and 474 non-state university higher level education institutions. Some of Russia's best universities are Lomonosov Moscow State University and St. Petersburg State University. Most universities are located in cities. Russian higher level institutes offer several degrees and diplomas. An intermediate diploma for two years of study, equivalent to an associate's degree, baccalaureate diploma for four years of study, equivalent to a bachelor's degree, a specialist degree for five years of study, and a magister's degree for two additional years of study, equivalent to a master's degree. Baccalaureate degrees cover all disciplines except medicine and is more academic than professionally oriented. In order to receive a diploma, the students must create the defense of a thesis as part of state attestation. Specialist degrees are open access to professional practice and are prerequisite for doctoral studies. It is available for all fields of studies. Students must also create a thesis and pass state final exams to receive the diploma. Magistrate degrees are more focused around research activities. Only those who obtain baccalaureate degrees can obtain this degree. Those pursuing studies in the medical sciences have different requirements. One must obtain a university-level diploma and have other experiences, varying on the medical practice. Doctoral programs include the levels of Candidate of Sciences and Doctor of Sciences. Candidates of Sciences must have an additional three years of study after receiving a Magister or a Specialist degree. In order to become a Doctor of Sciences, a student must study an additional 5 to 15 years in addition to the three years of a Candidate of Science. Those seeking doctoral degrees must go through a competitive process and present a public defense of an original dissertation or body of work. Although the United States and Russia have different educational systems, they both strive to help future generations have the necessary skills to produce future success.